pandemic introduced what you call the new normal. And then the new normal is that, look, um, <clears throat> is a, is something that people have come to stay with. So, in other words, you know, um, um, as an artist, I think she has actually done quite a bit. Now, um, she's done a number of um, international exhibitions. Part of the part of some of her, her people that have her, her, that have collected her works include I don't know whether you know the man that, that um, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, the um, rich dad poor dad. She's one of our collectors. You also have Ron Kenoli. You have Charles Blake, Bishop of uh, West Angeles Church in Los Angeles. You have CCH Pounder. Uh, a good number of a good number of international artists um, also have her works. She also got an award in 2018, uh, African Achievers Award, as the African Creative Artist of the Year in 2018, and that was in House of Commons. I call it good thoughts. Yes. Yes. You know. Now you have to have positive thoughts. Your thinking has to be right. You know, just, you know, like a lot of people got into drugs and all that because of um, the way things are. So I, I made it like a woman with all those colorful, you know, things running around her. So I called it good thoughts. Because of the atmosphere of the, um, how would I say, the way the world is, the way things are going, you now get so distracted with it. Some people say, oh, they cannot achieve anything. They cannot take anything, make anything out in their life and all that. So. Basically, that's what that one. If you're near her, we've done art and this has culminated in an exhibition and we're here because she that's... initiated into art. <laughs> well, to a point, um, because of her, I understand her art. I don't know if I understand all arts, but yeah. I understand her works. I can look at it, I can see through it, understand what she's trying to say. She's powerful and uh, my prayer concerning her is that one day she'll be really, really discovered. She's is a skilled artist and for her it's something that is in her, it's, it's a passion. I, I, said, I said to her it's a gift God gave her. Mm. I mean, it's not, some people will go study arts because maybe, well they were asked to study arts. And for Chinza, I just think that it's something that even if she had to run away from, it's something she, she just had to do. Because she's multi-talented, but all of them in that area. While we were in school, in the uni, for, let me say for instance, Chinza made earrings. I remember most of the earrings we wore were made by her. Yes, she will, she will pick uh, wooden things, things that look that look, they look ordinary. You see a lot of pieces around her, and then she'll get maybe join in with another thing and then color it, and it stands out. And everyone like, where did you get your earring? The shirts we wore, she would design on it. Hmm. So there was always something different, and it was, and it never washed. Wow. Yes, we, you wear, she just do it. She's also, she's an, a great designer. Alone with God. Alone with God. Yeah, with God. Wow. You know, when you're with God, it's like your life becoming pieces to God, and when you get them, you start punching together. I won't say art is um, a manly thing. It's for everybody. Okay. And I'm one of those that believe that the spirit is genderless. Whether you're a man or woman, you get inspired, and when you inspire, you can um, you can create. Um, Chinze is a rare breed. Her personality in conjunction with her creative effort is unmatched and um, she's a restless creative and as you can see she transverses from one medium into another very easily. She's not afraid of size, um, her colors are bright and eclectic and she's very expressive. So, she, by any standards, she's a world-class artist. I'm inspired by God, and secondly, by things happening. You know, like every day you hear things, you see the news, you see things happening. Like, you know, your daily activities, your daily interactions, your daily things you see. It's like, you look like the camera, you see people, you see houses, you just see things the news but uh, more seriously I use my work you know to like for a bit of advocacy like I do things for a girl child like this particular one I'm doing you know like encouraging people to go forward you know COVID, yes. COVID came with poverty, COVID came with lack of killing 
came with uh, kidnapping, he came with all the negative facts. But let us see. So for Omicron, no Omicron. Encouraging yourself, we have positive thoughts, we do things the right way. Then. You say, I've heard, have you, what has been the value so far? I haven't chosen this as a career. Well, I like that question. I've used it as a lot of, it's like therapy for people. People come, they look at it, they get okay. People, you know, make their house beautiful. At the same time, economically, you know, you can sell at, at a lot of money. She's an art activist, an art activist in the sense that she uses art to uh, to bring to the fore uh, issues, issues in the society. You know, you know, bringing to the fore issues, bringing to the fore. She's um, she's a big advocate of the girl child. You know, uh, of course you are aware because yes. you know you have invited her to to one or two of your yes. programs. So, so. Um, but I can say that she's um, a talented artist, restless artist. So what's the word of encouragement to her? Because she's going to watch this. My word of encouragement is for her to continue. Mm. To continue to explore. It's, it's not because the Bible says that there's a spirit in man mm. that is the inspiration of the Almighty that gives them understanding. Yes. So, so that spirit that, uh, that is inside of her, as she continues to draw from the resources of God, the, the deposits of God inside her. As she begins to draw from it, I believe that um, the world is yet to see the kind of works that is going to come from her.